In today's video, we bring you 10 Bible preachers in Africa that are seriously preaching Christ-centered Bible-based teachings that you should know and listen to. If you're looking for good biblically sound African preachers to listen to, you will love this list of preachers. Welcome again to Afro Berean, where we love to encourage discernment and sound biblical thought in the African church. We hope our videos bless you and please do endeavor to subscribe to our channel for more biblically educative and kingdom-focused content. Now let's get into today's video. Africa like any other continent is full of very good Christian preachers and very bad ones too. It's often very easy to spot the bad ones because they are loud and all over the place. However, there are many biblically sound and faithful preachers humbly serving their congregations and communities with integrity. Let's put some context to this. These preachers selected are not the only biblically sound preachers available in Africa as there are many faithful pastors and teachers across the continent quietly serving their communities. So in no particular order, let us start with number one in the person of Bishop Tudor Bismarck. Bishop Tudor Bismarck is a prominent Christian leader, preacher, and entrepreneur from Zimbabwe. He is the founder and senior pastor of New Life Covenant Church in Harare, founded in 1989 in Zimbabwe where he resides. Bishop Tudor Bismarck is known for his dynamic preaching style, which often emphasizes faith, leadership, and personal development. His messages draw from biblical principles and are aimed at inspiring and empowering individuals to live purposeful and impactful lives. In addition to his pastoral work, Bishop Tudor Bismarck is also involved in various business, ventures, and philanthropic activities. As a respected figure in the Christian community, Bishop Tudor Bismarck has authored several books and has a significant following both in Zimbabwe and internationally. The soil they've been raised in, and it's very difficult to get a man to be in ministry that can walk humbly before the Lord. Very few people can handle prosperity. Because a lot of guys get into prosperity and they become spoiled brats and you can't work with them. They become untouchable. They become untouchable. You can't talk to them. And I'm, I'm not against security and having people walking around you because I understand the dynamics of that. But there comes a point where it becomes absolutely ridiculous and absolutely doesn't even make sense. The Bible says that Jesus was so palatable and so accommodating that the children were bouncing on his feet. The disciples were saying, Lee, no man, leave the kids alone. You know, move the kindness away. He said, suffer the kindness to come unto me. <laughs> when you become a mighty apostle that glows in the dark, the true test of your ministry is if children can still be bounced on your knee. If children cannot be bounced on your knee, I won't spend any time with you. Be because you have become an untouchable. Coming at number two is Pastor Ray Macaulay. Pastor Ray Macaulay is a well-known South African religious leader, pastor, and public figure. He is the founder and senior pastor of Rima Bible Church, a large and influential charismatic church based in Johannesburg, South Africa. Pastor Ray Macaulay is known for his charismatic preaching style and his emphasis on the practical application of biblical principles in everyday life. He has been actively involved in various social and political issues and has often engaged in public discourse on matters such as social justice, community initiatives, and HIV-AIDS awareness. He is highly recognized for his efforts to promote unity and reconciliation in South Africa, working towards overcoming the legacy of apartheid. Pastor Ray is currently advanced in age and rarely preaches, but there are many of his sermon collections available online. Never confuse activity with productivity. Looking bu busy might mean that all you are is a busy body. I've seen people, they look so busy, but they're doing nothing but being busy bodies. You know, the Lord said, and the Lord said, and the Lord said, and the Lord said, and the Lord said. And sometimes I think, well, He speaks to you more than anybody I've ever met before. You see, focus requires boundaries. Moving on to number three is Ugandan pastor, Apostle Grace Lubega. Apostle Grace Lubega is a Ugandan Christian pastor and the founder of Fanaru Ministries International. He is known for his powerful preaching and teaching, which has gained him a large following in Uganda and beyond. Apostle Grace Lubega's ministry, Fanaru, 
is a non-denominational Christian ministry focused on teaching and equipping believers with the Word of God. The ministry emphasizes the power of the Holy Spirit and encourages believers to live purposeful and impactful lives. Apostle Grace Lubega is often invited to speak at conferences, crusades, and other events, where he delivers messages on faith, spiritual growth, and the transformative power of the gospel. How dare you teach that a Christian can have a generational curse when they are a new creation and the old is passed away and now the new? How can you teach that somebody has a generational curse yet you're the same person telling them that greater is he who is in them than he which is in the world? How can you tell me that a Christian has a generational curse when they have put on the Lord Jesus? How can you tell me that a Christian has a generational curse when they are the branch and Christ is the vine? How can you tell me that a Christian has a generational curse when Jesus said, they in me and I in you, that we might be one, that the world may know, that the world may know. So you are in Christ and Christ is in God. And you want to tell me that you entered Christ and Christ entered God with a generational curse following you. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. A person is not deep because they speak deep things. A person is deep because in the depth of the things he speaks, the simplicity of Christ is revealed. Still in Uganda and for number four is Calvary Chapel Kampala Pastor, Sedi Musangu. Pastor Sedi has been serving as the senior pastor of Calvary Chapel Kampala, Uganda and director of Calvary Chapel Bible College Uganda affiliate campus since 2013. Over the years, Calvary Chapel Kampala has grown from a small missionary church plant into becoming a prominent Bible teaching church in Kampala. Uganda. If there is one thing you would know Calvary Chapels for, it is their seriousness with expository Bible preaching as the late founder Pastor Chuck Smith well modeled and Pastor Sedi Musangu works in the same vein of teaching in the powerful verse by verse and Bible book by book style for which Calvary Chapels are known. It is rare to find such diligent meticulous teaching in Africa these days and so it's very refreshing to have someone like Pastor Sedi around being a sound balanced Bible expositor. If you are looking for a sound biblical church in Kampala, Uganda, Pastor Sedi and Calvary Chapel is a great place to fellowship. Many of his teachings are also available online on Calvary Chapel Kampala's YouTube channel. And Jesus put off his garment of royalty to the garment of a servant. If he walked in here, you would not even notice him. Maybe he's seated around you and you're like, who's that? That's exactly how he would be. And if there was an opportunity for him to do the lowest, something that all of us will be like, yeah, I don't want to do that, he would be the first to do it and do it well. Humility is the willingness to perform the lowest or the lowest, the littlest service, regardless of your status. Coming at number 5 is another fine and respected Bible teacher, Dr. Mensa Otabil. Dr. Mensa Otabil is a prominent Ghanaian pastor, motivational speaker, and entrepreneur. He is the founder and general overseer of the International Central Gospel Church, ICGC, a thriving Christian denomination with its headquarters in Accra, Ghana. Dr. Otabil is widely respected for his dynamic preaching and teaching style, and his messages often focus on the gospel, faith, leadership, personal development and the practical application of biblical principles in daily life. Dr. Mensa Otabil is the founder and chancellor of Central University, a private Christian university in Ghana, and has played a significant role in promoting education and leadership development in the country. If you are interested in simple, decent teaching of the Bible and Christian principles devoid of any sensationalism and extra-biblical excesses, then Dr. Otabil is your go-to man. He has highly distinguished himself and his church as a safe and healthy place you can count on in hearing sound biblical teaching. Because Africans like protection. Because the African spirituality always envisions that there are cosmological forces engaged in warfare somewhere that we must be protected from. There are malevolent forces that these forces have got power and that if you don't do something they would do something so we always want to do something next time they give you something put under your pillow sometimes next time there is a brass uh, 
ring you must wear sometimes there is a necklace you must wear they're trying to protect because they're, hey, she's an African she believes you must have something to protect you I came here to announce to you you don't need any object to protect you the blood of Jesus was shed 2,000 years ago and that blood is sufficient and, and efficient to protect you against every weapon that is formed against you Next on our list at number 6 is Nigerian Pastor Wale Adifarisin. Pastor Wale Adifarisin is a Nigerian pastor, teacher, and entrepreneur. He is the senior pastor of the Guiding Light Assembly, a dynamic and vibrant church located in Lagos, Nigeria. Pastor Wale is recognized for his dynamic preaching style and his messages that focus on the practical application of biblical principles in everyday life. He is passionate about teaching the Word of God, inspiring believers to grow in their faith, and promoting positive change in the Nigerian society. Pastor Wale Adifarisin and his church are involved in various community and humanitarian initiatives like providing food banks that has been serving persons in need for many years. He is also known for his marriage counseling and relationship teachings, often collaborating with his wife. His simplicity and integrity is highly admirable and you definitely need to check him out. We need the water of his word as well. To bring forth the fruit of a Christian life. And you know, I've heard some people de being described as a genuine Christian. Oh, that person is a genuine Christian. Some people say, oh, that's a good Christian. Oh, that person is a carnal Christian. A Christian is a Christian. We, we, we shouldn't begin to qualify because there is no way a mango tree will bring forth oranges. It's either you are a Christian or you're not. Moving on to number seven is the highly respected Dr. Conrad Mbowe. Dr. Conrad Mbowe is a prominent Christian pastor, preacher, and theologian based in Zambia. He is often referred to as the Spurgeon of Africa due to his powerful and expository preaching style, reminiscent of the renowned British preacher Charles Spurgeon. Dr. Conrad serves as the pastor of Kubwata Baptist Church in Lusaka, Zambia, where he has been ministering for many years. Aside from his pastoral responsibilities, Dr. Mbowe is a respected author, having written numerous books and articles on various theological and pastoral topics. Dr. Conrad Mboa is a person of high integrity in his personal life and in his teaching of scripture and is definitely highly recommendable. God is the all-knowing God. And so his plan for history is a plan that he made even before time began. Because he's, he's all-knowing. There's no little factor in history that makes him rush back to the drawing board. No! He is God! And therefore, instead of thinking that he has made plans, we should be saying he has made the plan. That's it. And history is but the outworking of that plan. In theology, it is referred to as the decree. Not so much decrees, as though there are many little plans, but the decree of God, which he has brought into action and is now outworking itself. At number eight, we have the renowned pastor William F. Kamui of the Deeper Life Bible Church. In 1973, while serving as a mathematic lecturer at the University of Lagos, Nigeria, Pastor Kamui started a Bible study group with 15 university students who had come to him requesting training in the scriptures. By the early 1980s, that small group had grown to several thousand, at which time Deeper Life Bible Church was formally established. The Deeper Life Bible Church has since grown increasingly with many church plants around the world as Pastor William Kumuyi has served as its founder and general superintendent. Pastor Kumuyi is known for his strong emphasis on biblical teaching and personal holiness. He is respected for his expository preaching style, where he emphasizes the importance of understanding and applying the scriptures in everyday life. Through his ministry, he has impacted the lives of millions of people in Nigeria and around the world. Pastor Kumuyi has authored several books on various biblical topics and many of his sermons are widely available online. 
Pastor Kumui is absolutely worth hearing. Want to you scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses. That's why Jesus said, beware. And you know, sometimes it's very much surprising that some of those people who are saying, bring your money, will pray for you, pray, bring your money, will prophesy into your life, bring your money, will do this and that. They are getting money from people who are widows, from those who are poor, and they are rich already. Instead of giving out, instead of helping those widows, they are getting the little that the widows have. I pray God will give us understanding. It's not everybody that carries Bible. It's not everybody that prophesies. It's not everybody that promises something. It's not everybody that is saying, I'm praying for you, I'm fasting for you. It's not everybody that says, I have a word for your life, I have a word for your family. It's not every one of them that is really of God. Moving on to number nine is another fine Bible expositor, Pastor Ken Mbugwa. Pastor Kenneth Mbugwa is the senior pastor of Emmanuel Baptist Church in Nairobi, Kenya a vibrant and influential church in the city. He is a council member of the Gospel Coalition Africa and he is the managing director of Ecclesia Africa which promotes biblical resources for building healthy churches. Much research has shown that 85% to 90% of pastors on the African continent have no access to theological education, thus leaving them ill-equipped to faithfully shepherd their churches in the African context. Pastor Ken through Ecclesia Africa is endeavoring to address these issues by developing curriculums and programs that utilize resources that will equip leaders and church members to grow in their knowledge and understanding of God's Word. Pastor Ken is another fine preacher recognized for his expository and engaging preaching style. He is passionate about teaching the Bible diligently and helping people grow in their faith and relationship with God. In verse 16, where Adam's one transgression led to condemnation, Christ's gift brings justification. Adam's disobedience makes many sinners, but Christ's obedience makes many righteous. In Adam, we're made sinners. In Christ, we're made righteous. In Adam, death reigns. In Christ, life reigns. In Adam, condemnation. In Christ, justification. And finally, at number 10 is Pastor Sunday Adelaja. Pastor Sunday Adelaja is a prominent Nigerian-born pastor, author, and public figure known for his influential ministry and social activism. Pastor Sunday Adelaja gained international recognition for his ministry work in Ukraine where he established his church, the Embassy of the Blessed Kingdom of God for All Nations, a large and diverse church and became a prominent religious leader. In addition to his pastoral work, Pastor Sunday through his church is known for his social and humanitarian activities, including efforts to combat drug addiction, poverty, and other social issues in Ukraine and elsewhere. He has also authored several books on spirituality, leadership, and personal development. Although not residing in Africa, he definitely is worth hearing as over the last couple of years. Pastor Sunday has been on a campaign to speak up against the spiritual abuses and excesses in the African church. Away from this he has a wide catalog of good biblical and kingdom-focused teaching available on his social media platforms and is highly worth hearing. Because we think that ministry, most of all, is touching God with my heart. But ministry is more of touching people with God's love or God's heart. Because there is no love to God if there is no love to man. And there is nobody that can touch God unless you can touch man. That is the lesson God was trying to prove in the story of the Good Samaritan. So there you go, here are 10 good Bible teachers you should know and listen to. In conclusion, let's put some context to this again. No one has perfect conclusive theology. But there are those who strive hard to teach biblically to a very large extent and that is what has guided this selection. We hope this video has been helpful. Like and subscribe for more and see you soon in our next video.